Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. This video will be about Taurus Sun, Moon and uh, Rising Weekly Tarot Reading for a, uh, April, April 22nd to uh, April 28th, 2019. Just give me a few moments to uh, shuffle the cards and we're gonna jump into uh, the reading straight away. All right, so the first card for Taurus, which is about the topic of their week, we do have the Two of Wands, followed by the second card, which is the challenges, the challenges that Taurus needs to uh, overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Judgment, followed by the third card, which is the positive aspect of the week for Taurus, that is going to be the Fool card, and the last one that we do have, that is going to be the Guidance here from Tarot for Tauruses, that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. So once again, we do have the Two of Cups as a topic, followed by the Judgment, which is the challenge. Then what we do have, it is the Fool, which is going to be, you know, the positive aspect. And the last one that we do have, it is the Guidance from Tarot, that is to be the Nine of Pentacles. So uh, Two of Cups, guys, as a main topic, well, obviously this is the card that shows the that week is going to be quite of a lovely week as the Two of Cups does uh, preaches love, sympathy and closeness of people. It's kind of like, um, <clears throat> you know, being close to somebody or someone new pops up into the um, into your environment. Very positive card for those which are single, by the way, as Alistair Crowley himself points that the Two of Cups, when you are single, it means a new interest on the horizon. But Two of Cups goes even beyond that, you know, it does preaches teamwork, solidity, sympathy as well, and in generally points that for you at least, Taurus is that if you can spend the week or your endeavors in the week sharing them with someone, your uh, pain is going to be half of the pain and your happiness is going to exponentially increase to double its happiness. Two of Cups is about two people unite with one with each other or with one another to create something, to create something great, all right? The accompanied card here that is going to be the Hierophant and the formation, it is a, a passive, uh, passive friend. So with passive friends, it seems that the person you're going to associate yourself with, either a co-worker, new lover, your husband, you name it, you will have a, a great trust in, especially if that is a, a new person, from a, a very first glance, you are going to realize that you can't trust that guy or that girl, in fact, as through them, you can counsel yourself, you can achieve a benevolent support, and what you're going to understand is that at least the majority of your problems can be resolved by you associating yourself with this person and allowing them to help you, to guide you, you know, or in generally to give you these sound advices or to be around you, um, if nothing else, as this could be as well a big love interest. Additionally to that, because I saw the rest of the cards that we do have, these, uh, this topic could be as well about reconciliation, you reconciling with an ex, uh, with an ex love that is due to the challenge here that we do have, which is the, um, the judgment as the judgment could 
point to reconciliation. It's again a unity of forces, of, of opposing forces, which is going to be the challenge. That person disappointed you back in the past, you know, and now you are finding it very, very, very challenging, not just to forgive them, guys, but to regain back the trust into them. But yeah, the, uh, the judgment, it's about the unity of opposing forces. And as well, it is about reconciliation. And also judgment is about when the hub falls in the shaft. All right. So it's kind of like finding the... Um, it's not even the appropriate moment, but it's kind of like the best moment in your life throughout this uh, week. And that is going to be challenging. Additionally to that, if we go completely general, the judgment could represent that you are going to find it challenging to recognize this appearance of that person or the opportunity to uh, create a teamwork with uh, with the person itself in order to form or create something uh something new the accompanied card of the judgment that is going to be uh the queen of cups so with the queen of cups formation is active enemies and it seems uh that how can i place it the sympathy itself as we said the two of cups it's about sympathy it's about love you know and it is about um compassion in between one another you are going to find it challenging to give your compassion to give away your love you know and to to sympathize to the one who wants to be around you all right so that being said if we're talking about for example a new love interest they are going to be interested in you but the question is are you going to be interested in them now this is going to be the challenge for you to overcome additionally to that with these cards the challenging is going to appear to be some sort of a secret that is going to come around uh, a secret not necessarily about you all right but is going to influence your environment in a quite severe way so be prepared the bombs to come around not necessarily bombs which are going to hurt you in any way but they like i said are going to change your uh, your situation in a drastic way where you will have to probably adapt to it which is uh, displayed here in the next card that will be the um, the positive aspect of the week for you Tauruses and we have the full card so the full is about new beginning guys and that that secret this shift of an uh, of a uh, circumstances you know are going to allow you to either make that reconciliation and I will give you an example how it could play out you know uh, with the secret itself that is uh, will give you an opportunity to start a, a brand new life as well or in general to place in front of yourself a, a new goal that will amuse you and will allow you to face in general the future with quite of an enthusiasm now how could you play let, let, let's give you this scenario all right so you hear from an ex of yours that hurt you back in the past or kind of like you split up because you lost a um uh, you lost faith in them and you lost, uh, how can I place a, a trust in them, all right? So you broke up with them. They come around and they share you what was the real situation back then that you were completely unaware and that totally changes the circumstances around you breaking up with them, realizing that actually you, ha you, you needed to have a little bit more faith in them back in the days instead of acting prematurely and breaking up with them. And that could make you consider giving a, a new goal to that ex person, all right? So uh, for m the majority of you Tauruses, you can expect, you know, a lot of a uh, broken relationships, once again, not necessarily love relationships, to have a chance to be recuperated. And as a positivity with the Fool, it is highly advisable to do so, to recuperate those relationships. The Fool additionally, uh, as a um, positive card here it does point that you are to associate yourself with quite of carefree people which you're going to have quite of a good time with as well any kind of ideas you do have for yourself for your career for your future relationships and so on and so forth could actually bear fruit uh, a pure detachment of your behalf according to the situation as well so there will there won't be a big repercussions in case you do something stupid and so on and so forth to me it does look a it does it does look like at the very least for you Tauruses a, a week where you're gonna have a quite of an amazing time now with the seven of pentacles here as a um 
active enemy to the full, uh, it looks like that uh, you will have to make your decision in a snapshot. What I mean is that you should not think about it uh, too much, all right? Because you do have a chance to miss that opportunity. With the Seven of Pentacles as an active enemy to the full, the window, what that card does to the full is that the window of opportunity, it's, it's very short, all right? It is not throughout the week. You're going to have it, let's say, for a couple of hours. Maybe, uh, let's, to give you an example, that person that wants to reconcile, you know, you make the negotiation, they call you and they tell you, look, I, I, I am about to book my flight, you know, and you have to decide right now, are we going to try it out again? Or you kind of like give up on me for good. And you will have to decide right there in this very moment, all right? So be prepared as well for some... Uh, <clears throat> snapshot decision i don't know how to say it, you know but very fast and quick decisions that are gonna have a, a huge influence upon your near and as well distant future and as the guidance card we do have the nine of pentacles and as a guidance the card points to focus yourself on what has a uh what does create comfort to your behalf you got to focus yourself on the conquest. You got to focus yourself on making an achievement. And conquest and achievement, it is a resuscitating a relationship, all right? It is about uh, associating yourself with a coworker to make a teamwork and to create something new. But this card as a guidance, I don't want, uh, I could say that if you don't have a relationship life of a private life, you should focus yourself on the career because the very least, the card itself promises you quite of a progression in regards to your career <clears throat> and in regards to the uh, relationship in between you and your co-workers as well. The accompanied card here that is going to be the seven of wands formation is a passive neutrals and it's a difficult combo. The first thing is that should you mind your own business, it doesn't look like that anybody is going to interfere with your business. So if you don't want an exterior interference being tested and tempted outwardly, you know, you should just focus on your uh, on your primary goal here without kind of bragging about it and without displaying it way too much to the world just to say uh, just to give you an example of it if we follow the reconciliation uh, scenario here you know you should not brag about that this person came around and wants a reconciliation because in that case you know someone that it is around you which were very enough for example unhappy and they had a, a huge how can I place it? A, a, a huge contribution into that for you uh, to split with that person in the first place. They could try to talk you out of it. What I mean here is that you should keep your possessions safe and as well, you should keep in secret your endeavor as much as you can because the secrecy there or the little people know about what you're planning to do, the greater your chances are to manifest your ideas and to establish that new beginning of yours. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, just to summarize all that, it does look like a lovely week for Tauruses. And if you are searching for love, well, you got lucky because that week it is love that, got, that it is love that is going to find you. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other around until then. Bye.